Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. This week we're going to work on more quad heroes. Today we're going to do Mare Trixie. Until then, see ya. guys welcome back to the <laughs> sorry guys let's try that again it's you know been a long day so far anyway welcome back to the workshop and we're going to do our final push to get Mayor Trixie all finished yeah what do you think yeah she's looking pretty good so what we're going to do is we are going to do the hair. We're going to finish the hair first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fire dragon, our fire dragon bright, and we are just going to do some highlights with the hair. Not going to go crazy with the with it, you know. But we are going to put some. Put some highlights in the hair. Just to give it a little bit more, uh, give it a little, little, <laughs> give the hair a little bit more depth. Make it fun. All we're going to do is kind of hit some of the strands. So we can make sure that there's a bit of depth to her hair. And it will look great. I think it'll look just darn heckin' cute. The paint doesn't wish to flow. that nicely today. So you can kinda kinda see how the highlights on the orange are helping to pick out the pick out the hair.
like I said, we're not going to go super hog wild here. We're not going to pick out every little strand. We're going to do we're going to do a fair number of them. You know. And it just adds that extra little flare. Just a little bit. Now we're going to move on and do her hat. And a few other small details. And we can pretty much call this call this little girl done. And she has been a fantastic delight to paint. Actually, she's been a surprisingly fantastic delight to paint. I wasn't exactly sure when I got into this, you know. When I got into this one, but no, she's been quite nice. So we're not going to hit every strand because that would just be crazy and would take forever but we're not going to worry about that just kind of going to kind of figure out kind of what of our key ones are and uh Hit those. Yeah, this is just to add a little, <clears throat> excuse me, this is just to add a little bit of extra uh, oomph to the mini. It's just going to add that little bit of extra extra dimension. Yeah. Like I said, we're not going to do every single strand, but we're going to do a fair bit. But as you can see, adding that highlight into the orange just kind of gives us that little extra something.
There we go. And her orange hair is complete. So now we're going to move on to the pinks, where we have her hat and her uh, kind of bow tie front. So what we're going to do is we're going to give the whole thing a base coat of Screamer Pink. There we go. It's the nice kind of dark pink that I have. For that, we're going to use our medium layer brush. Because we do want control, but we also have a decent space to cover. Basically, start start right here, and we're just gonna kind of paint the whole thing this deep pink. good solid base coat of that pink on there there we are you can see there's the pink and now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the hat I'm just going to paint the whole thing a nice deep pink Now we're going to be a little careful so we don't mess up the hair that we just spent all that time painting. Even though we have orange that went on onto it, uh, that's fine because now we're cleaning it up. We're taking a little bit of extra care when we're painting the hat so that we don't try our best to not get any onto the orange. If we do, well, we just have to go back and fix it by kind of redoing the little parts of the orange that have to be redone. She's going to look fantastic.
So go the hats nice and nice and pink the uh, her pink front is also nice and pink there we go now we are ready to do some of the real work. And for that, I'm going to be switching back to my to my small layer brush, and we're going to go in with a slightly lighter pink for the front. And we're going to do the front because we're waiting for the hat to dry. Put a little bit on the palette, as we always do. Now this upper one is a far brighter shade of pink. It's also this is also going to be the same color of the hat when the hat finally does dry out. She also has a little bit right at the very bottom, right in here. That's also the same. It's also the same light pink. So there we go. Now we're going to see. We can use this pink as a nice highlight color for the dark. Just a few little, a few little lines. Nothing too, you know, nothing too out there. Nothing spectacular. Alright, so the top of the hat is now pretty much dry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that pink. We're going to go back in with the medium layer brush. And we're going to repaint that hat. 
with the cue and the bow remain the dark pink. And what I'm going to try and do is not quite get all the way into the crevice. And leave some of that dark pink. It's a bit of a shade. Again, these are all, you know, things that I'm going to attempt, whether or not they actually work. That remains to be seen. I am leaving the edge of the hat, though. The outer edge of the hat. I'm going to try and leave that also in the dark pink. Because I'm just crazy and weird that way. are coming along quite swimmingly with the hat. Now of course we're going to have to do a second thin coat and try and make it as solid a color as possible. But we knew that didn't we people? Yeah we did. And as you can see I painted over the cue or part of the cue so It's easy enough to fix. But that is pretty much. And then we're going to add a. I have another pink. That will be just perfect for a highlight on this one, on this pink. What we're going to do, we are going to finish laying down this pink. Getting it as nice and as solid as possible. Making it look as nice as possible. Because we want Mary Trixie to look as good as she possibly can. And there's your hat. Again, we're going to fix up the cue on the top. Don't worry about that right now. Well, we've got a couple minutes. Take a little bit. We're going to 
fix the Q. Is nice and fixed on the top of her hat. Boom, boom. Okay. And now we're going to go to my light pink. Again, going to do the small layer brush. more of an actual bubblegum color. So the last colors that I'm using are Emperor's Children Pink, which is the current pink that I'm using right now. And the last color that I use, the kind of mid-range mid -range pink, is called Pink Horror. GW has such creative names. slight edging on the hat at least on the crown of the hat anyway maybe a little bit on this one on the actual rim Not too much. Come down here. And we're going to try and get a nice fine point. We're going to do just a little bit of highlighting. that not too much of one just a little one camera won't probably pick it up a whole lot and actually I'm going to use this bright this pink on the cue just a little bit again not a whole whole lot Cute little bow in the front. Again, just little little dabs of color. And there we go. Mary Trixie is finished. And she is ready to join her other her other pieces in Quad Heroes. And again, if you want to see the full review of the game, hope we should have it up on the rathole.ca or on the uh, oh yeah, on rathole.ca, both on our Facebook page and our own website, I believe. So, until then, I, got, I want you guys to paint safe, be safe, follow all the directions and and uh, guidelines of your local your local health region, and uh, until next time, we'll see you later.